With kids heading back to the classroom in just a few weeks, this will be the first normal start to school in three years. But there's still instability with the possibility of teachers going on strike and the likelihood of another wave. So here's a look at how parents are feeling and what they need to know. They need the social because I know learning online for my son, it was horrible. COVID-19 feels like a distant memory out here at the splash pad and playground. <laughs> this September will be the same as we left things back in June. Masking will be optional, no more social distancing, and the Ministry of Education is strongly encouraging a return to extracurriculars. We're moving along to try to make the transition uh, back to what we would call uh, a, a normal uh, school year with uh, extracurricular with you know uh, plays projects assemblies some schools might really go full force other schools might not do as much it depends on on the on the on the teachers many might have vulnerable uh family members at home so they might be taking uh, extra precautions but the pandemic is not over and shifting conditions should be expected what is it that parents need to know heading into the school year that there still is a lot of COVID. Pediatric infectious diseases specialist Anna Benergy strongly encourages mask wearing and up-to-date COVID-19 vaccines. This is the first year every school-aged kid is eligible for the shot. Benergy predicts at some point schools will be dealing with staffing shortages and possible classroom closures. She also worries about the impact back to school will have on our struggling health care system. As soon as we have people going into school that's a closed environment where you have 30 or so kids in sharing the air, same airspace. If one child has COVID, it's going to spread through the classroom and uh, it's going to go you know, to homes and into the community. Notifications about COVID cases in your child's classroom are no longer mandatory, but some school boards may choose to keep parents in the loop as the Toronto District School Board did back in the spring. The TDSB tells me more guidelines and information on the upcoming school year will be available in the coming weeks. And the Ministry of Education tells City News 100,000 HEPA filters are now in schools across the province and the government remains focused on providing students with with a positive, safe, and normal school experience. Let's start um, with, you know, moving full force. But if things start to shift, I think parents need to be prepared, uh, communities need to be prepared, that we're going to have to adjust, and we'll have to pull, pull back on that. Shauna Hunt, City News.